Hi, my name is Ron Falcone and I am the host of Meet Your Neighbor. I had this idea back in the fall of 2006 where I wanted to interview uh, local people so that all of you would have the opportunity to, to meet your neighbor. We have a very special guest today. His name is Ali Schudwitz and he is a German exchange student from, from Germany. And also we have Marsha Papillard, who is a past president of the Brunswick Rotary Club. Right. Welcome both of you to, uh, to the studios and to, and to Brunswick. Thank you for having me. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Um, Ali, I know you're an uh, exchange student from Germany, mm -hmm. but I know you, it's, it's been um, sponsored through the, through the Rotary Club. Isn't that, isn't that so? Yeah, true. Sure. Okay, and Marsha, can you maybe tell us how did this all, how did this all come about? Well, with Rotary, any student can become an exchange student if they go to rotarydistrict6630.com, they right. can look at the application. Now, we've already interviewed the students that will be going out next August for oh. the following year because okay. they have to get passports and visas and that sort of a thing. So that's already been done, but if a student would like to go the following year, they can certainly look on the website and do that. Also, we have a summer exchange program oh. where we arrange for a student, such as if Ali wanted to become a student like that, uh, from his country, we would match him up with another young man in this country, in our district, um, of his age, and he would switch. come here for 30 days with that student, and oh. then he would take that person back with him for 30 days in oh, his wow. country. So for those who can't do the full year, they can always do the short-term exchange, but both applications are on the website. Okay. And and Marcia, is there, is there a cost associated with, with all of this? Or how does the Rotary or um, the, the person's parents help defray the costs? Right, they do. They do have to pay for the travel costs and that. But when a student comes into another country on both ends, okay. uh, they do have host families. Okay. So their room and board and all of that is taken care of. And every Rotary Club helps to subsidize the student with a little bit of an allowance every month so that they have some spending money. Um, we are the least expensive of any exchange program. So if a parent is concerned that they can't afford it, they really should look into it a little bit deeper before they decide. Obviously, depending on the country you go to, it can depend on what your airfare is going to cost. D does, the Rotary, does the Rotary decide which country or which student would come here to Brunswick? Or is, that, is there like a, um, a higher up or um, who, who would look into that for us? Well, we belong to the Ohio Erie Exchange. So we okay. encompass a number of states. And we get X number of students from various countries. Mm. And then we're assigned so many, and I get the information in. Uh, we received him, uh, with, was <laughs> one of them. And the Brunswick Club said, I said, would you like a young man from Germany? And they said, yes, we would. Okay. And so we took uh, his application. But we have eight other students from other countries here in the district. Uh, the mm. district is all of, uh, um, say, be northeastern Ohio. Okay. And right now we have nine students this year from various countries wow. that are scattered about. So, what, what other countries do you? Uh, right now we have Russia, France, Slovakia, Japan, mm. uh, Mexico. Help me out. Who am I forgetting? <laughs> Brazil. 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 <laughs> Brazil. Okay. Okay. So um, we're just always looking for host families. We'd love to take more students in if we had more host families, and that's sure. something else for people to think about. It's a wonderful opportunity. You have the student for three to four months. They're here for a year, but we like to put them in more than one host family because, as you know, every family is different. Sure. So there is no one American family. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Uh, um, Ali, can you, can you tell us something about yourself? Yeah, my name is Ali Schutwitz. Uh, my name is actually Ole. But o it's... Uh, how do we, it's Ole? Yeah, O-L-E. Okay. But it's kind of hard for Americans, so <laughs> just call me Ali, that's easy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and maybe from, from your standpoint, what, what are some of the things that you had to do on your end to come over here to, uh, to Brunswick? Um, I had to make a long application. Okay. I had to write, for example, a letter over four pages on English. Oh, okay. Hard for me because I had to write first time a long, long letter on English. <laughs> and the application itself is very hard because everything must be perfect on that. Okay. Yeah. You had to, and you had to go through all of that. Um, how did you, you speak very, you speak English very well. How did Thank you me. learn how to, uh, how to speak English? Um, German school starts teaching English very early. Oh, wow. Some schools started in the first grade. Okay. So you get used to that. You get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> you speak any other English, uh, any other languages besides English? Um, I speak a little bit of French. A little bit of French. You, I'm assuming you learned that in school also? Right. Are you fluent in French as you are in English? Um, no, not perfect. <laughs> but it's enough. Okay. 
Um, can you tell people who are watching right now in Brunswick, Brunswick Hills, or Wadsworth, Wadsworth Township, or people watching on the internet, can you, um, can you tell, us where, tell us something about Germany? Where, first of all, where is Germany? Um, Germany is right in the middle of Europe. Okay. And in Germany are 80 million people live in. 80 million? 80 million. Okay, okay. And my city, Flensburg, is right from the north, and the state is Schleswig-Holstein. And my city is right to the Danish border, five minutes away. Okay. So have you been to Denmark also then? Oh, yes. Oh, you have many times. <laughs> um, tell us something about Germany that, that maybe a lot of Americans would not know about Germany. Um, first of all, I'm not from Bavaria, because <laughs> most <laughs> Americans just uh, yeah, when you think of Germany, yeah. you usually think of Bavaria or Munich or beer halls or... <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so I'm completely from the north on the coast. Yeah, so that's the opposite end of, of Germany then. Right. Bavaria is in the south. Right. Okay. And the school is absolutely different. Oh, okay. What, what's, what's schooling like over there? Um, we have a kindergarten. Okay. And then we have like a preschool. Okay. And after that you go to either a lower, middle, or higher school. Okay. Depends on how good you are in school. And I was in the middle school, and if I'm good enough, I can go to the higher school, which hmm. goes to the 13th grade. Oh. And this is what I do after that year. Okay, okay. Um, can you tell us, about your, tell us about your family in Germany? Oh yeah, um, my parents, my mother's name is Ines, my, mm. my father's name is Stefan. Okay. And we have a small, really nice house, and Yes, I like that there. Okay. Have you lived your, your, your whole life there in, uh, in Flensburg? Yes. You have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can you tell us about what, what kind of government do they have in Germany? Um, we have the same like in America, America but we have a multi-party system. Okay. So there are six parties. There's six. This. And there's not, not just two like we have here in right. America. <laughs> what, are, what are some of the things that people like to do for, uh, for entertainment? Yeah. Um, on the weekend, go into the cinema downtown. Okay. Or after school, very lot, lot of kids play tennis or soccer. Okay. Sports are big. So, so everyone plays sports and for, for fun and mm -hmm. things, things like that. Pretty much like the same thing over, yeah. over here in America. But we don't have football, we just have soccer. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. we have a different kind of football. Mm -hmm. Do you call it football in, in Germany yes. or the, the soccer? You mm -hmm. call we call football. it football. Okay, okay. Um, is this your first trip to America? No, I've been before two years in oh, okay. Toronto and in Buffalo. Okay, okay. And that was with my scouting group. We had a partner troop there in Buffalo, and we decided to meet them, oh, get that's money, nice. and then meet them. What were your What are your first impressions about America? What did you What did you think? Um, everything is big. Everything is big. Oh can, yeah. Can you explain? Um, my first host family's car was a huge truck, and in Germany we don't have these huge trucks. Oh, you don't? No, just small cars. And we don't use them often, only if we have to. Okay. We were talking off camera about, um, about how you used to, just how you like to walk most of the time. You did not really use automobiles, and a lot of this was um, it's just part of, the, part of the culture there? Yes. And, um, like, I used to go to my school. Okay. Every day, walk there, if it rains, no matter if it snows. You'd still, you'd still walk? Yes. I'll ride my bike. <laughs> um, Tell us some of the things that you, that you like about America. I love the people here. Okay. They are very nice. And I like the grocery stores. The grocery stores? Yeah. <laughs> uh, explain why. Because um, they are so big and, for example, the milk, a gallon of milk, we just have a liter. I don't know why, but I like it there. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, speaking of uh, grocery stores, are there any kind of uh, foods that you like to that you eat? I love chicken parmesan. You like chicken parmesan? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> okay. Um, what are some of the things that you like to do, uh, that you like to do for fun? Um, I play a lot of tennis. Okay. Um, there was a tennis court right close to my house. Okay. And my parents and me, we used to play there every day in the summer. Okay. And I joined tennis club here in Brunswick. Okay. And I will play for Brunswick High School. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's fantastic. Now, um, in Brunswick High School, what, what kind of classes are you taking right now? I have American government and language arts. Both are very hard for me. Are they? Yeah, because... <laughs> The language is kind of special in these two sure, subjects. Sure, sure. I also take French. Okay. German. I you like take that. take German. <laughs> yeah. It's everyday fun in that class.
Ben, I, I think we have some uh, pictures. Um, maybe Ali, you can tell us about them and let, me, let us know, um, you know, a different perspective here on, on Germany. <laughs> sure. Okay, what is, what is this here? Uh, this is my school. It's your school. What's the name of your school? Um, Auguste Victoria Schule. Okay, I don't and think I can pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the higher school and goes to the 13th grade. Okay, okay. And this is the um, biggest church in our uh, city. Oh. It's right downtown. And What's yeah. the name of the church? Uh, Marienkirche. Mm, okay. Yeah, this is another church. And in the back on the right there is my school. Oh, okay. And this is all in, in Flensburg? Yes, it is. And this is the harbor. The harbor. And okay. in the background it's downtown. There are tons of shops and it's pretty nice there. Oh, nice. This, is, this looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. These are my friends. <laughs> From the left, that's Chris, uh, Pascal, Mario, and that's me. <laughs> and yeah, we had a goodbye uh, picture before I left. Okay. <laughs> and these are my parents, <laughs> Ines and Stefan. Okay. And we have a Sweden flag because my parents are absolutely Sweden fans. They like Sweden? Yeah, but now we replaced it with American flag. Because <laughs> now you're American fans now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and and um, have, you, have you been anywhere else here in, in the area besides, uh, besides Brunswick? I've been to Cleveland quite a few times. Okay. And I've been once in West Virginia. Oh, okay. In Beckley, there was a coal mine to visit that. Okay. Yeah, and Akron. And you've been to Akron also? Yeah. Okay. Um, for, for every guest on the show, I like to play a game of uh, fill in the blank, okay? When I was a child, I blank. Um, I used to play handball. Okay. But handball is not like in America. It's like soccer, but you grab the ball and throw it into a goal. Oh, okay. So you used to play that when you were, when you were a child? Yes. <laughs> what about the person that I admire most is blank? Um, these are my parents, because okay. without them, I couldn't go here. They made it possible to do that advent adventure. Okay. What are your parents' names? Ines and Stefan. Ines, Ines and, and Stefan. Right. Okay. What do they? What are their occupations? Um, my mother is an orthodontist. Okay. And my dad works for an electric company and buys stuff. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. What about the one place that I want to travel to? Is blank. Um, it's New York. New York. Why New York? Because um, it's so big, the skyline, I like that. I like big American cities. <laughs> and it was, as I went the first time to Cleveland, it was so big for me downtown. Yes. I liked it there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, can you give any neighborly advice to people who are watching right now in, in Brunswick, Brunswick Hills, Wadsworth, Wadsworth Township, or, or maybe people watching around the world on the internet? Yeah. Um, be polite all the time and kind, and that keeps your door open. Okay. Okay. Ali Schudwitz. Uh, thank you for coming down to, to, to the studios and Marsha Papillardo. Thanks thank for you. coming down and, and chatting with, with me about, uh, about the Rotary and, and in Germany. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Ron. <laughs> uh, my name is Ron Falcone and I'm the host of Meet Your Neighbor and I wanted to thank Marsha Papillardo and Ali Schutwitz for, for coming down and talking with us today. I doubt there's anything more profound to be said, so my name is Ron Falcone and I am signing off. Auf, auf Wiedersehen. Ha, <laughs>